A few years ago, I heard a piece of advice from Joe Rogan and Steve Lacey that would change my life forever. At the time, I was very lost, very confused, very frustrated about what I wanted to do with my life. Yet, as their words resonated with me, a profound shift occurred, setting me on a trajectory that would redefine my existence. This advice served as a pivotal key, unlocking the untapped potential within me and paving the way for my personal growth. Today, I am eager to pass on this invaluable key, inviting you to embark on a journey toward unlocking your own boundless potential. On January 15th, 2020, Joe Rogan interviewed world-famous actor Robert Downey Jr. on his podcast, The Joe Rogan Experience. And while discussing music and the creative process, Joe Rogan stated something that was extremely simple yet profound. Again, get out of your own way. <laughs> yeah. Again, I mean, that's uh, one of the, the many tenets of life. Learn how to get out of your, your own way with everything, including with creative endeavors. Get out of your own way. The idea of letting go of your own perfectionism and following your own intuition. Nothing is gonna be perfect the first time you try it, but remove that mental block and simply just try. Robert Downey Jr. follows Rogan's comment by describing an out-of-body experience. We always hear it too in sports. It's like, you know, oh, you know, uh, how'd it go today, Federer? Oh, I was out of my mind. I was not in my mind. It was a beautiful day. And I think you saw the results. <laughs> yeah, You know, sure. fluid, yeah. effortless, Poetic. Robert Downey Jr.'s comment is similar to a term in Taoism called the flow. Instead of the act of doing, you become the action. When inspiration strikes, follow your intuition and act on it. Now how does getting out of your own way and the flow relate? I'm glad you asked. By removing the mental block of perfectionism or getting out of your own way, you allow yourself to take action and release any inhibitions, reaching that flow-like state and becoming your most authentic self. Before I started this channel, I also had a mental block. I thought I wasn't good enough to be a YouTuber. I thought I didn't have the right equipment and skill set to make a YouTube channel. But eventually I let go of this perfectionistic thought pattern and made it a goal in 2022 just to make one YouTube video. If I was bad at it and hated it, I told myself it was okay and to not take it too seriously. By removing that mental block, I was able to take action which eventually led me to finding my passion of creating YouTube videos. And now I'm able to to attain the flow-like state by letting the action of video editing consume me. By getting out of your own way, you're one step closer to unlocking your potential. Don't think about what you could do, see what you can do. On December 19th, 2017, Steve Lacey gave a TED talk expressing a similar ideology called the bare maximum. When Steve Lacey was a kid, all he wanted for Christmas was a MacBook Pro so he could produce music. However, Steve never got that MacBook Pro. Instead, he eventually got an iPod Touch and started making beats on GarageBand and other music production apps. Steve eventually joined a hip-hop collective called The Internet, where he would make songs with them using just his iPod Touch. A couple of years later, The Internet created a Grammy-nominated album, where Steve Lacey had songs made on his iPod Touch. Probably one of my favorite um, phone beats of that album. <laughs> This eventually led to Steve having his own successful solo career until he smashed the fan's phone on stage. So the bare maximum refers to making use of the resources that you already have. Imagine if Steve Lacey never started making music on his iPod. He never would have had his own successful solo career and he would have never smashed that fan's phone on stage. Steve Lacey originally had that mental block, but he eventually overcame that block by getting out of his own way and making use of the resources he already had. But yeah, I just realized that I didn't need what I thought I did. And uh, that's what I like to call the bare maximum. 
At the time I heard this TED talk, I was also interested in producing my own music, but I thought you needed high quality software and equipment. But Steve's talk inspired me to start making my own music on GarageBand. Even though I later learned that production was not my passion, it was okay because it later led me to finding my own passion in creating YouTube videos. If I never got out of my own way and made use of my resources, I would have never found my passion and I would have never felt like my most authentic self like I do today. So how can you apply this advice to your own life? It's as simple as, if you find something that piques your curiosity, try it. Well, I guess they said curiosity killed the cat, but still, if it piques your interest, try it. If you're interested in playing a new sport, challenge yourself to go to one practice and see if you enjoy it. If you're interested in playing guitar, buy an affordable guitar and try playing it for a couple of days. If you want to start a business, do some research and try it on a smaller scale such as Etsy, even if you don't enjoy that particular activity. By following your intuition and trusting your instincts, you are one step closer to unlocking your potential. This self-help video is a little bit different from my other videos, but I want to release a video like this every year as a New Year's tradition, similar to my first video that I released in January of 2022. So I hope Joe Rogan and Steve Lacey's words inspired you to make 2024 your best year so far. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hit the like, slap the sub, and have a happy new year. Till next time, folks. Peace.